Alright, Charlie, welcome back to this episode of The Bus with me, Sabali, the only name with a capital in the middle. Charlie, Abi, you know, I've been at now they get calls, then things. Charlie, honorable, hey, what's up? The thing can't talk, then things, so we they need evidence, then things. So, Charlie, I was forced to do a part two of this. And, you know, if they can't do part two to her, Charlie, you forget evidence and things. As a song replay, I showed you a particular, you know, uh, document that uh, Honorable was holding. That was, that contains every details of the research. Charlie, have I mean, you know, right here, they can't rant. Should I say rant? No, they can't speak the truth. You understand? So, I'm here with um, Adam al Hajj Jabber. The only Al Haj who has never been to Mecca, but is here. Now. I believe um, everyone watching us can hear us. Yes, um, if you can hear us. Just give us a thumb or something. Yeah, Charlie, straight into action. Honorable Hello, what's up? <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, um, Sabali Media. I am always happy to be on this platform. Uh, I thank you and your team. You guys are doing a wonderful work. All right, Charlie. <laughs> I thought you were about to say something. You guys are doing a wonderful work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You there, you there, we know you. I didn't know you were going to be scored or not. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sure today, before we leave here, you drop another one. Oh, well, I'm never for a baby to say this. Hey. <laughs> All right, Charlie. Um, it hasn't been easy, man. The course when they come, hey, it's a bali, hey, this, 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 this. So, right here, they come sport day. When I say sport day, I mean, when they come talk everything with the concern was the research. Charlie, honorable, when was this research carried out? When was this research done? Well, thank you very much. Uh, JB News Ghana, prior to the NDC parliamentary. Uh, plan is we decided to do our first research when it comes to politics. So uh, my team and I sat around the table and discussed the way forward. So we came to a conclusion that we, we try on I also know and in go plan plan process. So this 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 research was done on 20th of March this year. Wow. So, considering when it was done, um, how many delegates were involved in this research? Because we know say research that you can't carry out a research in the sky and then bring out figures and all that. How many delegates were involved? I believe we are talking about the IOWA. So no. Yes. 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 So, let me first of all say that no reset is 100%. Matter we believe that most of them happen. Reset basically is about what? Prediction. Predicting the mindset of the person or the thing that we are going to do research on that. So we took on the I also know. Now, when you, if you check the records, we in IOS know we have like twelve electoral areas. Okay. So uh, we went to Alidu electoral area, uh Abedina. Forgive me if I don't pronounce the words yeah, uh, the Abedina. names for Abedina uh, Electoral Area, IMS, Accra New Town, Mamubi East, Sawaba, La Didi, Mamubi West, Estates. Senior Kwa Kwa Chu, forgive me, and Timber Market and Alibi. So, if you check, the, the numbers are 12 in all. So, we went to these lecture areas to have our research. And what we did was to interview 500 people. Now, if I say people, what I mean is that. Any person at that moment who lives around this area, 
we interview the person then so sorry for that any any person who was leaving so it means that even a toddler you asked or you did something or you asked a toddler uh, you know questions pertaining the elections or what, what are you trying yeah, to say uh, i mean in this context i'm talking about people that are of i mean voting age any so, just people or yes okay so those are above 18 but the that, elections was based on delegates yes so like if you let me finish okay. I'll, I'll, I'll answer the question right. so 100 people that were, were, were interviewed then when we finish we segregated those that are what do you mean delegates so out of the 500 people that we interviewed 200 of them were NDC persons and not only persons but delegates out, out of the thing. Yeah. So 200 out of the partner that we decided to go and interview, 200 of them were delegates and they were going to vote on that 13th of, 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 of March. All right. So um, that said, um, in every research, there's a methodology used. So what methodology did you use in carrying the research? Yeah, so well, if you check the I also know of one that is a, the it's a strong goal of the NDC, right? Yeah. yeah. And the the one who was contesting Honorable Yus Jaja, Honorable Sidik, looking at his background, I'm talking about uh, when you he came in to contest Yus Jaja. The popularity are not the same. So what we did is to to make the confidence level to, one of the started that was with confidence level of uh that we gave in all uh, 97%. So we could have gone 99% in that research. So we took the 97% method. That is it is believed that UC Jaja will win. Okay. Then we, 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 we carry on with that research. Now, the delegate that, and the margin of error, you can imagine, so yeah. it's yeah. I mean, the three yes. percent is the margin of error. Now, if you, if you check, when we went, because if you don't take care as, as a researcher, you'll get it wrong. For instance, you can meet someone in the way, and the person will tell you, oh, since morning, I've not eaten. Or, have you eaten since morning? The person will tell you, I've not eaten. But if you had asked the question the other way around, oh, my brother, how are you? Uh, in the morning, I'm talking about in the morning. If you were having a chance of eating bamboo and this thing, they say tea, which one would you have prefer, uh, preferred? The person would have told oh, maybe bamboo or tea. What about in the afternoon? Blah, 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 blah. So, like, since morning, I've been eating. The person will tell you maybe yes. But in the morning, uh, before that one, you ask them no. Because the person may be considered tea not in food. Mm -hmm. I hope you are getting it. Yeah. So the way you, 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 you start with your conversation will determine what you want. I hope you are getting yeah. it. Now, six questions were asked. Any one that we meant that we, we, we believe is of I mean voting age. And I told you we interview five hundred people and after all we did what? We segregated those that were delegates of NDC, which were the 200, and we took that part to, to be our research. So the 300 for that one, we you know, because we're having people from the NPP who were part of the 300, I hope you are getting it. So we, we, we stood on the 200 to carry on our research. So the first question we will ask, or we ask them was, it's an another being war. Now, you know that any serious NDC member that you meet and you ask the person, is Nana doing well? What would be the answer? If, on this one, I'm also doing any, any serious one? Any NDC or any person who is an ardent supporter of the NDC? Automatically, no. Who say no? Yeah. So, uh, what's the name? 90% of the people that we interview, I mean, we interview, mm -hmm. said, no, 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 Nana was not performing at all. 7% mm -hmm. said, oh, it was in war, and you should know where the 7% or the 90% was coming from. 
So the ninety percent will tell you, oh, uh, they are perceived to be NDC members, right? Mm-hmm. And seven percent were perceived to be MPP because we box all of them. In, in, I mean, we box we box all of them. The three percent were you no, know, we don't know who we vote for, so we ignore them. Now the first question. So it's Nanado doing well. Seventy ninety said no. Seven said no. How can I get it? Yeah. Then the second question was, will the NDC win election 2024? Now, just look at the, 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 the premise. The first question that was asked, is Nanadu doing well? No. Automatically, if a person is an NDC member, right, mm-hmm. and the person says that the Nanadu government is not doing well, then automatically the person will wish that well, the NDC wins. How do I get it? Yeah. So when we ask, are the uh, NDC, like, will they win? 98% said what? Uh, the NDC will win. The 2% said, no, 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 no. NDC will not win. And you know where that comes. So I'm just trying to, or we're trying to get the attention of the people that we were interviewing. The third question that we asked on 13th of May, the NDC will vote between Jaja and Sadiq. I'm talking about the parliamentary uh, primaries. Who will you vote for? Sadiq? Or Jaja. So this number, the 200 people that we are talking about, 49% at the time said they will vote for Sadiq. Uh, Sadiq. Then 38% said they will vote for Jaja. Then 13% said they they have not decided who to vote for. So if you even think about the margin of error at that time. So there's uh, the 13 percent that have not decided. Let's say the following day they decide to vote. It is not automatic that the 13 all will vote for what the name, Lucy Jaga, or the 13 all will vote for uh, what the name, Sadiq. Yeah. So you can split the 13, maybe 70, 30, or or 40, 50. So at that moment, the the our research indicated that this Jaja was going to be. Then the uh, fifth question that we asked, are you a delegate? So if we had, so if you check the, the chronology, if we had asked the, I mean, our first question was, to be, are you a delegate? I don't think they could have even given us the, the answers that uh, we are getting. Yeah. So we're just trying to lure them bit by bit then you go to the fifth one, are you a delegate? Then the person said yes. And most of them, I mean, the, the, the 200 people that we, we got. Fortunately for us, we, we even saw, they, they showed out their party card. I, I, I mean, I hope I get it. Yeah. So they showed out their party and then people that were even around them. And of course, you know, most of the NDC uh, persons and the MPP persons, I know they are talking about the area that we found. So most of them are my friends. I, I hope they are getting it. So uh, most of them, I can even just call maybe Sabali, you are the NDC and Oh, this person says it's a delegate. Check it for me. And if you go to the branches, the, the list are there. So we were able to find out that, yeah, uh, is it true that this person is a member of the party? Then we, 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 we ask. So these are the questions that were asked. And based on that, we were able to conclude that Sidiq at the time, and if you listen to or you watch our the, 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 the research uh, live that we did, we said at the time we were not 100% what complete with the research. So at the time, that was what we said. It was Sidiq. Would, uh, had 49 percent, another had 38 percent, and then those that have not decided, they are 13 percent. So in all, this is what we did, and I don't know, I don't know any question that you want to ask. All right. So basically, your research methodology was based on questionnaires and interviews. All right. So now, far from um, the research, uh, who is honourable judge to you? Like, do you have anything you know? Oh, 
Well, I will not say Onabu Jaja is my my friend, and I hope you understand. You say someone is your friend, like you like this. You're my friend, so we do everything in common, right? But I know Onabu is Jaja, and I think he also knows him. And our knowing will not be like I know everything about him, and he also knows everything about him. Now, back to twenty. I may get it from 2015 when the entire community was uh, fed up with uh, Onabu Mustafa. Yes, all of us. And um, by then, we, I, for instance, I wasn't a member of the NDC, right? Okay. But we, 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 we formed a group that was campaigning for Onabu Yusi Jaja to come. So that was when we started that uh, that was the first time we even talked before he came to our base, he spoke to us. Aside that one, I mean, if let's say uh, where I used to my school was having a program, I, I, I would call him or send him the letter, send the letter to his office. But aside that one, I, I don't know him as him. Personally? Uh, yeah. I mean, All right. So right now, why are people tagging you like with negative comments and all that? Well, it's, uh, look, uh, Somali, this is part of the game, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a uh, occupational hazard that we all find ourselves in today. Look, if you have decided to be a pastor, then you should be what, able to what, quote from the Bible. Bible. If you have decided to be a, a prostitute, then you should know the, the price of a condom. I, I, I hope you are getting it. That is the price that you pay for every work that you do. Yeah. I, I hope you are getting it. Since you have decided to come out to do things in public, then you expect people to also come I and mean, to you. Yeah, you may not like the, the methods that will be used. Where you pass to go to your house will be different from where I will pass. If all of us decide to go to circle right now, you can decide to pass Kutubabi and go there. I also pass Nima. We all we meet as well. So our routes may be different, but the destination will be one. So we do not have any problem with the person that are attacking us. But what our advice is, we should be a little critical when we are criticizing. Okay. But we can avoid the insult, the personal attack. For that one, I am not a partner to that, uh, that session that will before you can even make your point, you should be No, no, I, I don't believe in that. Yeah, Alright. And um, this one, I think, is going to be a bit difficult to watch. So, are you affiliated to any political party? Because uh, most people tend to tag you as MPP sometimes based on your posts on your Facebook feed. And some also feel you are NDC. Some feel you are NDC. So, on this platform, you are supposed to come out clean and clear and tell us where you belong. Well, fortunately for, for me, I think, uh, I should say, both the NDC and MPP are wonderful people. Mm -hmm. I, I like them, especially those that make a positive contribution. I like that. I think uh, the NDC, we have uh, the summit. I'm just talking about the arena that we find ourselves. Summit and that will I call him talk and then people there's one the balance. Look, we are friends before politics, <laughs> human beings were in existence, right? Before politics, we were Ghanaians, right? So, politics cannot take away our, our relation that we have. I am not a member of, of NDC, I am not a card member of the NDC. I, as of now, I'm talking. Eh? I'm not saying the future because you cannot predict the future. Like we always say, the future is precarious. Yeah. So I am not a member of the NDC. Now, in the NPP, I am not a member of the NPP. I do not have any card that bears my name as a member of the NPP, and I do not support them. What I will say is, if NDC does something nice, now we should. What we need to differentiate is. There's a difference between JB News Ghana and personal page. Okay. So for instance, Adam Alhaja, that's my personal page. 
But for the JP News Ghana, it, it is run by four uh, individuals. So before any editorial will come out, the team that decide to uh, bring that in. But for the my own page, you know, I love I, I love children. Uh, most people follow me, see me, yeah. and children. But yeah, so that is me. That place I can come out and say anything which will not be insult. Okay, uh, those men see me may not be happy with it, or those men people may not be happy with it. But that's a personal page. Mm -hmm. So I don't belong to any of these what two parties yet. But I don't know what the future will tell. But I'm happy where I am because I'm able to relate to the NDC and the MPP. Alright, so um, your final words before we... Now, before the, 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 the final, the final words. You see, we're having about, as of the time that we're having the, the visit, 1,180 delegates. Yes. But then we were not sure of because the info that we, we had it was 1182 or 1180. But because we didn't want to make a mistake, we, we stood on 1180 delegates. So out of it, then we we we, 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 we interviewed the 200. And if I say we interviewed the 200, I'm not talking about the other people that we interviewed because they were not part of the 1180 delegates. Okay. So when it was done, and some have been asking that why would you have 1,180 or 82 delegates and you decide to just go with only 200? You know, I stand to be corrected. All the research we have in the world, if they want to have a research on maybe animal, they will not go and take every animal. So if it's a monkey, all the monkeys you have in the world, they will go and count them and no, no. They, 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 they have a sample, so the sample size, okay? Yeah. So that our sample size was 200, okay? Then we made a reset. And that, that the, the, the interview or the reset that we, did, we used it to predict for the rest of the 1,180 or 1,182 that we gave that we have. All right, that would be great. So your final words. Uh, I think, although today, um, we, we are being the part two with all this thing that we have said those that will be happy or those that will be okay with you will say okay we have covered it all those that will not be will say oh no with all the things that we have said maybe it is just a part of the thing i hope you are getting it yeah. so this is what we have done we, we, we have given you the number of people that we voted uh, we interviewed the lecture areas that we went the percentage that, uh, the percentages that were involved, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> um, I think Sir Enoch always tells me that he wants to watch. What, what, say something to me. <laughs> you know something? Nah. Uh, I call him Prof, <laughs> and, and I remember when uh, he was here. Okay, if I say here, yeah, when when he was in Ghana. And I was privileged to work with him. Uh, all of us were in the same, uh, let's see, the workplace we were at uh, the same place. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice guy, very nice guy. Look, one thing that I have learned from him, with all the things that he has acquired, I'm talking about his education, he's very, very humble. Very, very humble. I mean, even when he disagrees with you, he will come gently at you. And he, I mean, he's a wonderful person. Mukeria <laughs> Mugawa. Is that the name we call him? What? That's his name. Oh, Charlie. wow. He says, so if he's watching me, I will say, may God bless him. Whatever that he's into, may, may God make it uh, possible for me. And I, on, on behalf of JB News Ghana, and myself, we, we say thank you to you. Oh, God bless you. All right, Charlie. It's been great having you on Rabu TV. Yeah. I'm sure in future we we'll still have these political talks. All right, Charlie. Have you know it's been Sabali. Yeah, and uh, oh. uh, Sabali. Let me say. Look, <laughs> if you have not appeared on Sabali media, mm -hmm. what it simply means is that it is that you being in Zongo. That's seen Coco before. Hey, it's not possible. It's not possible. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah.